all are you doing well so today i'm going to present like the, the work that i did in my this google summer of code period so before i start to explore like what i had done uh, i will tell about myself like uh, about myself like as my journey and all this stuff so basically i am a front end developer like full stack developer and uh, i just graduated in this year and uh, i am contributing with the rocket jet from past 6 month and yeah that's all about myself little bit and we are like going to start about my project so yeah let me share my screen okay i hope it's visible right it is so uh, yeah so the project name is like messages forwarding so like all for the all people it's kind of very straight forward like what is the meaning of this messages forwarding right it's like to forward something message kind of this so like my mentor is douglas fevris and wilpen brux so like let's start with the the work that i did so first of all like uh uh what was before like what was before the where there is no message forwarding so at that time like if we want to share one particular message to multiple channel or to any other user then it's not possible for me like we at that time like we can simply copy the message and send to the other teams but uh, this is not a proper way to do this right let's say if we want to send message to multiple channel at a one time so it's not uh, not any way to do this so that's what the problem and like uh, let's take an example let's of in the business side let's say if admin want to send the message from one channel to multiple then it's not possible for that so that was the problem before and uh, the like the approach which i come with this share message feature right so this is kind of the dialog box which i will show in the demo so let's go jump over the demo yeah so here i create the dummy channel some to test it out and yeah let's say this is my message that i want to share to the other teams so there is simply one icon in the toolbar section which is share message when i click on the share message it will open the one uh, model where you can see like i divided this particular section in the three parts one is the top section second is the middle one and the last one top section like the approach i like why i use this approach because it, it's easy to like break down the problem into the multiple chunks right if I, if if we think about like we have to create the with the whole model it's hard to like Uh, make it possible so i thought let let's break it down into the chunks and work work it on separately so the first section is like the person or channel like this is the thing where we mention like where we have to send the message right in the which channel let's say i mention like we i need i need to send this message in the this rocket cat bot and the other channels like the public uh, attachment working then public and the team or anything room okay yeah so that's all about user will select the team where he wants to send the message and uh, then let's say if he want to like they want to add any additional message like any optional message let's say we want to attach something like to mention something other other thing rather like so let's say this is our actual message right hello how are you this is actual message but if we want to send another me optional message with this then we can mention this message here so let's say i want to say like this is said uh, message from direct yeah so this is the option message and uh, yeah we can use the text formatting here let's say if we want to italic that add the italic then we can use this and we can also add the emojis here right and then uh, if we want to add the links then we can also do this and uh, yeah this is all about text formatting and let's say if we want to preview this content before we actually share it so there is the preview section where we can see the preview of the message so yeah this is the italic and let's say i will use the strike here yeah so as you can see we can see the preview of this so yeah user can like check it before he send message and yeah and let's say the bottom section this is the actual section where we i put the logic of the share so let's say if i create like send this share this message so it will share the message to the rocket cat and attachment working and the public team right so let's click on the share so as you can see we got this message this is optional message and the, this is actual message it's like showing in the code right so we got this message in the attachment working and in the public channel not so yeah in the public team sorry and the third one is the in the rocket cat 
so this is for the particular any message but let's say if we want to send any attach like any images or any text file something else then it's also work for the same case let's say from the yeah public channel i will send let's say i will send my photo here yeah let's say the, i will send this attachment okay as you can see you can preview the allow your images also i will send in the at this public channel yeah so as you can see we can also send the any attachment also um, like not it's not like only we can send the particular message any text we can also send the other format also as well yeah so this is all about share message and uh, there is this like yeah just wait okay and what like i have learned the thing is like like rocket set code base is very huge right we are using our own library for the design like it's fuselage then the thing is like i'm getting already all the things from the different different library so the main thing i have to focus is on the business logic like how we actually add this list of channels and share it to the multiple like to the like in the one loop we will share to the multiple channels and like this so like it's like good to like focus think about this approach and like implement in the code base so this is the best thing i learned in the in this particular project yeah so this is about i learned and next is like future scope right so as i as you can see guys like we can for now send only one like only one message right but uh, let's say if we some you use the whatsapp or like you can see like in the whatsapp you can send the multiple message to the particular user so yeah in the future like we are we and like my mentor we are planning to add the mul multiple message share feature so that like at the what time we can use the like we can select the multiple message and send to the other teams as well so this is about the future scope and the other thing is like yeah the other one is like as you can see uh, it's only it's possible to add emoji or bold italic or strike but uh, i am planning to add the let's say user want to add the unordered list or order list so i will plan to add this like like this the whole component is a composer so i have to make changes in the fuselage size so this is kind of another library which i have to like like implement the code base there so yeah this is all about the future planning of this particular project and uh, yeah there is yeah and apart from that like i would like to thank my mentors douglas and the milton like they helped me very much and like they tell tell me like how to like like is it's easy to code but before we implement the code it's like it's hard to like come up with this approach right so it's time taking process but when we come up with the approach it's easy to code right after that so thanks the douglas and the milton for giving me such a great advice and helping me a lot in this project so yeah that's it from my side and open for question if anyone have yeah that, this was very impressive a lot of features uh, for for sharing the message uh, we have here so just to make sure this is a, a change on the core right it's not an app yeah that okay. it's not proper in the core not in the application side yeah. yeah because we have here one question from frank days uh, asking if you made the wise wing editor or it's part of the fuselage uh this one is a, it's a composer i think it's a part part of the fuselage yeah i think okay yeah yeah uh and also we have a uh, salmon can uh ask, asking about if you can discuss the notification setup uh, uh yeah yeah i <laughs> got it okay yeah okay uh so like, all, yeah sorry no, go ahead uh yeah so like this is kind of much awaited feature on the rocket chat side like if they, we don't have this kind of feature on the rocket chat to share the messages so yeah like i'm really excited to put in the deploy like develop and like production and like people will use the feature to share in the regular life so i'm really waiting for this looking forward to it yeah yeah, also a suggestion here from Diego Melo is that the, the preview at the bottom could apply the text from uh, the, both the, the shared message and the text that you were editing. Uh, yeah, in the both, right? Yeah. yeah, and also I saw I saw one one button there, uh, insert, insert mark, uh, mark. Okay, yeah, so that's a, this is like a part curious. of the, this party. Yeah, you were telling about this one, right? I think my screen is with sharing or yeah, placeholder. Yeah. Insert the placeholder. This one, insert placeholder. So this is like a in, insert the compo uh, composer, right? So we have to remove it from the fuselage, then we can use it. 
it's like not in the proper core set, but we have to change inside the fuselage. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, so that's it from my side. And thanks yeah, for watching. Yeah, this is nice. Just uh, singly, Zess is saying here that uh, this code is soon is going to be used by millions of users uh, right. as soon as it enters. So congratulations. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you.